What's up, guys? I'm Salty Mike, and this is your Star Citizen Week in Review for October 17th, 2022. And, uh, well, it was SitCon last week, so... And as always, if this is your first week in review, this is where I take all of the official Star Citizen news each week, put it into one video, and share some of my opinions on it. I also live stream on Twitch, twitch.tv slash saltymike, every day about Monday and Tuesday this week, so I can get that video out to you guys uh, starting at 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time. And they started out last week with This Week in Star Citizen, and yeah, there's Citizen context out a lot from them, so... They said there wasn't going to be much this week, and they didn't lie. There really wasn't a lot at all. We didn't have the uh, roadmap roundup we were supposed to have. We didn't have a citizen, uh, a star citizen live. We didn't have an ISC. Everything is taking a week off. Um, yeah, so I was able to throw a few things together this week. So let's start out with patch updates. And with that patch update, Evocati has begun testing, sort of, for 3.18, but it, it wasn't as much of a test for 3.18 as it seems like it was a test for PES stability. So not much more to add to that. As most of you guys know, I'm an Evocati. I'm not really going to share any uh, serious details other than the fact that it is in Evocati. But yeah, hopefully they move out of that stage quickly. We get it into our hands in an open PTU and get to see what 3.18 really can do. But we're not really there yet. Moving on, we did have that Squadron 42 monthly report this week. And as I always do, for the Squadron 42 monthly report, we're really only going to touch on and cherry pick the things out that could affect Star Citizen. As we all know, Squadron 42 is year or years away still. So there's not really much of a point in really hyper-focusing on that yet. Now we start out with AI features, which is ironic because I don't expect to see much from AI features in Star Citizen given the frame rate of our servers. But they spoke about being able to disguise yourself and mentioned factions as well. I think we know things like Ninetales, things like uh, guards in certain areas like Hurston guards. If we wear their armor, we might be able to fit in a little bit more and i think that we could potentially see that in the pu for animation uh ai needs ladders and needs to use those like we saw a player use them at citizen con so they were working on that there's i expect to see something like that in the pu and they also mentioned actual uh, a deployable shield and a gaussian weapon not sure what the gaussian weapon is leave a comment down below if you guys have any idea what that is i do expect to see these in star citizen they're not really a uh, Squadron 42 spoiler or anything like that. So no reason why we wouldn't get those in the PU. For tech animation, they're adding more faces to the pool for the character creator. They've already given us more faces in the past. I don't expect this not to be the case in the future. And then lastly, UI. They mentioned the star map. They mentioned radar, things that we kind of talked about at CitizenCon this past year. And they also mentioned the new UI for our ships, which was not shown at CitizenCon this year, but was mentioned so i expect to see these on an isc or an sel or something like that in the near future now that'll do it for the squadron 42 month of report updates now let's move on to whatever other updates we have and we really only have two updates we have a sneak peek where they showed some oxygen tanks on what appears to be a ship or a station now looking at this image they don't look removable. They look like they just went to a random place on a station or a ship and went, look, oxygen tanks, resource management, guys. Am I right? Um, I, They look pretty static to me. They don't really look uh, interactable or anything like that. But obviously, they shared some resource management stuff, and we fully expect uh, life support to be a big part of it. So after the... Oh, what did they call them? The circuits or whatever that you placed into ships and make sure that they, uh, like all the power was being routed all over the place. The, I expect the next thing would definitely be oxygen and the ability to remove scrubbers and things like that, right? The next thing and the last thing this week was a lore post and it was on a clothing company called Stegmans. Link in the description if you guys are interested in that. Uh, but that'll do it this week. That was... We can review. There was nearly nothing this week. Not a surprise at all. Post-CitizenCon is always like this. Uh, and I don't expect 
it to be any different in years in the future. So was fully expecting a kind of short one this week. Uh, I did a video last yesterday about kind of needing a break from making certain types of content for Star Citizen um, streams and the podcast in particular, because when we're in droughts like this, it is just too difficult to not find things to talk about. But I have a plan for next week, and I am hoping I can kind of pull that together, uh, is getting some PVPers and combat pilots to talk about disengagement with the new flight model, and we'll see what we get with that. That's my goal, um, but when I do have something, I do want to bring you content and make really good content. When I don't have anything, I want to reserve the right to just not do something if it's not going to be up to the quality and bar that I expect and you guys expect. And uh, yeah, that'll do it for this week. Leave a like on the video. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about anything that happened this week. The few things. And I will see you guys next week. Looking forward to it.